Right, this is my part 2 of the uh, Razer 24V Go-Kart battery replacement uh, video. In my first video, I already re replaced the battery on this Go-Kart which has the, still has a good throttle and good control. i show you on the back here. And I use a cordless tool battery, a lithium ion. See how small that is. The battery used to be occupy the whole space here and it weighs like five times heavier. Now, this battery is so small, only half of this box, and it weighs a lot less. And this video, I'm going to show you how I repair this go kart. This one is different because it has a broken thumb throttle here and then uh, I cannot use the throttle anymore so I can't use the controller anymore but the good thing is that I don't have to use a 24 volt battery I can just use any of my cordless tool batteries to power this go-kart and uh, I'm going to show you right now Right, I have finished installing the switch on the front and the battery and its wiring on the back. And first let me show you the switch on the front. This switch here is just a simple on off temporary switch. So when you press on it, it will turn on. When you release it, it will turn off. It is a switch that I salvaged from a dead microwave. As you can see, and I even used the wiring <laughs> from the microwave. But anyway, um, I got it for free. I didn't have to spend a penny for it. And the switch uh, has two wire coming out. Go around here and go to the back. And this schematic is really simple. It only involves a switch on the front, the battery, and the motor. That's it. It doesn't go through the controller at all. And I will show you the schematic in a little bit. On the back here I have my DeWalt 20 volt lithium ion battery. And all I have to do now is to insert my wire into the slots of the battery. And on the battery, look on here and you will see uh, positive on the left so that's a positive slot right here a negative slot on the right so all I have to do is to insert my wire which I have modified to make it into a metal clip this is from Harbor Freight by the way uh, this go to the negative of the battery like so and that go to the positive of the battery like so and that's it and then I put my battery in the box here so it doesn't move around and I'm good to go the wiring is uh, pretty simple the two wires coming from the switch coming down here one of the wire go to the positive of the motor right and you see the yellow wire the coupled yellow wire come from the switch so this wire and this wire okay so one wire go to the positive of the motor okay to the motor the other yellow wire go to the positive of the battery right and the negative wire uh, go from the motor go straight to the negative of the battery so when you press on the switch it will complete the circuit and turn the motor now we got everything connected and ready to go and let's see if it works so let me step on the front here so it doesn't run away from me as you can see run real strong so when I press on the switch it will spin the wheel when I release it, it will stop. So very simple. And the 
battery box it's just a cardboard box I uh, made it fit to the battery to the size of the battery and then use double-sided tape tape it to the bottom of the go card that's it right okay let me show you the schematics go cut here that's pretty ugly go cut excuse my drawing I'm no Picasso but uh, you got the idea the steering wheel here I assume that's a steering wheel so I got my switch on here so this is my switch Okay, so you got two wires coming out, go all the way to the back. Okay, and let's see, I got my battery here, a positive negative terminal. I've got my motor over here, it's got a positive and the negative wire so one of the wire from the switch go to the battery the positive of the battery the other wire from the switch go to the positive of the motor okay and the negative wire from the motor go straight to the negative of the battery so connect here so from negative to the battery, it goes straight to the motor. So this is an open circuit. So when you press on the uh, button, it will complete the circuit. It will connect the positive from the battery, go around here, and connect to positive of the motor, and complete the circuit, and we will spin the motor. And that's it. It's a very simple circuit. Also, to be safe, you should also install a fuse uh, you can insert a fuse somewhere here or here okay either here or here doesn't matter fuse so that if something goes wrong uh, the fuse is going to be blown instead of uh, you know, spinning the motor faster and you know create an accident so this is very important to be uh, to be safe all right time to test this out go <laughs> man that was fun the uh, 20 volt the volt battery was uh, really fast and uh, I was videotaping behind, I was running behind a go-kart and I couldn't keep up with the speed or well, maybe because I'm just out of shape I haven't exercised for months that's the first workout for months anyway and uh, it was powerful too every time uh, the go-kart start, uh, starts it will spin the wheel and create a line of uh, rubber marks on the road anyway so um, with this system you can use any voltage um, the higher voltage the faster uh, go car is gonna go but I wouldn't recommend anything faster than 20 volts because it's it's quite dangerous uh, especially for a child so uh, anything more than 20 volt is not not recommend it and uh, I have this 6 volt lead acid battery here and if you have a child who is new to learning how to drive uh, you can use a, a lower voltage battery to uh, make the go-kart go slower so that you know, he can easily control the go-kart and he can learn it better that way and it's more safe it's safer that way 
So I'm gonna hook up the uh, 6 volt battery and I'm gonna show you how slow it is. And with the 6 volt battery, the the motor is gonna spin real slow and nice. And let me demonstrate. It's already hooked up to the motor. And let's see. As you can see, the speed the speed is really slow and nice. See, this is very controllable for a first time uh, user. So it's, uh, it's very nice and it's, uh, it will allow your child to learn driving the go-kart when uh, he is uh, new to the go-kart. Alright folks, and uh, that's uh, pretty much all I have for now. And uh, make sure that you install your brake and make sure your brake is working. Make sure that your child knows how to use a brake. Uh, make sure to install a fuse in case something happens. And also install a kill switch. You know, I would recommend a, another switch, a kill switch. Uh, somewhere on the front or somewhere is easily accessible so if something happened you can just turn off using that kill switch and turn off the the motor have fun be safe and I will see you next time